John, so tough day overall. Can you summarise that performance? Uh, gave me two halves, really. <laughs> you know, I think first half we didn't didn't turn up, making errors in poor places, poor positions, uh, and I just think we was uh, was caught in the headlights a little bit, really. You know, they they was that willing runners. They're, they're a good team. We knew it was a good team. Uh, and to be fair, you know, Ollie made a mistake with a kick, and you know that's what's won them the game. But you know, it's a difficult place to come. It's hostile, and you know they're absolutely over the moon. You've seen the, the reaction after the game; they're jumping around, singing like they've they've won the league at the end of the day. And it, yeah, but like I said to the players, it just shows you uh, all credit how much it means to teams to beat you. You know, and, and the fans and everyone was you know over the moon. You, you see how happy it was after the game. But that's all credit to us. You know where we've come, and then players where they've come shows you. Like I said, what a big achievement it is to beat Redcliffe at the moment. Absolutely, tough slog in the second half as well. So the second half came out quite quick as well, obviously with Rocker scoring. Um, so in ways, playing against 10 men can be harder. Was that the case in the second half? I think we created chances, but it was half chances. And, you know, you'd like to do a lot better at certain, in certain situations. Uh, but you know we we often puffed at times and we had one or two half chances. But we did we never really we never really got in behind him and caused them massive amounts of problems. But you know I thought we played really well. I, thought, I got a reaction anyway. I asked for a reaction at half time and I got that reaction. And you know that's a pleasing side of it. So that reaction obviously came from the two goals conceded in the first half. So what did you make of the two goals individually from a tactical or yeah. performance point of view? Well, once again I think the first goal. Uh, <laughs> I think we just got caught by it, maybe ball watching a little bit. I think we should have we should have made a, made the simple pass instead of making it difficult for ourselves. I think Prince gave it away in the midfield, and then they uh, they attacked down the left hand side, and we just didn't we just didn't see the runner at the back. I think it was Scott at the back, just didn't see the runner. You know, he, he got his eye, eye line taken away, and uh, and the lad nicked it at the back post. Disappointing, obviously every goal is disappointing when you can see them. But the second goal, obviously, he came in. Ollie made a mistake with a clearance and the lad finished it. So it was a mistake at the end of the day. But I suppose everyone can say every goal is a mistake on your part. Uh, but we'd like to do a lot better than we did in the first half. And I think we did in the second half. I think we got a reaction from the lads. Emotions were running high at the end as well. What was the mood like when you got back in that dressing room at full time? So obviously it kicked off at the end, didn't it? So yeah, it kicked off. I think, well, like I say, I think it kicked off because of a lot of actions, you know, because of celebrations, whatever it may be, and, and, and other things where people shouldn't be getting involved, stewards and so forth and so on, uh, for no reason. And I think it, I think that got a little bit airy at times. But like I said to the lads, when they got back in the dressing room, see, it just shows you what it, what, it, what it means to other teams, to beat your other fans, to, you know, what it's like to them when you come to a hostile uh, environment. And it's, you know, it's a big, it's a big win for that, uh, for league. So they're over the moon, obviously. But... I've, we've got some, we've had some great results. We can't always go your own way, so you've got to take it on the chin and you've got to move on again. Because, well, once again, like I said to him, when you're playing as well as you are, when you're as good as a team as you are, and you're you're up there and you're leaders and you you you're leaders obviously in the division, but you're leaders individually and as a team and your characters, teams are going to want to beat you. An update on the Roman as well at the end. Well, I think he's got a little knock on the head, so we'll just monitor that over the next couple of days. Tom. Man.